well the roof uh, window wood has finally uh, come in so I'm making the uh, roof window which is nice uh, just uh, cut all the angles in it now I'm just gonna use pocket hole screws to screw all together uh, here's a little example just here so you can see it up on time lapse and uh, we'll pocket it all them all and join it all together yeah gonna do that 12 sided polygon Yeah, do two two pockets one side, one pocket on the other. And then you get two two coming in from this side and one from that side in the middle. It tends to work well. Glue it as well. So we'll uh, get this assembled. Leave it dry. And carry on building. Just had a time lapse going, had to interrupt the time lapse for that, but look at them! Don't think they can really see us. There's the two before. I haven't seen them like this before. Yeah, there's always been two. Off you go, little babies. Off you go. Where have they been? Foraging down through the bushes, okay. They're back up to the pond now. Oh, how cool is that? See you later, little buddies. Right, let's get back to the uh, time lapse of building this. Right, this isn't bad for someone that failed GCSE maths. Look at that, look, it's all screwed together. Look, <laughs> didn't even get a GCSE. How about that? Brilliant. Right, let's get this last one in. Oh, let's stick that in there, does. Spoil it once I've got a proper workshop, it's not gonna be, gonna be mad. Got that. Not quite right at the bottom there. Let me just get it started. Right, we put that in there like that. And pull the top over. There we are. So that's the inner window, so um yeah that's gonna have a big circular window over it and then there's the outer window and then all the bits in between it all right let's let it dry uh, the reason i made it that size is no other reason other than with the wood i bought that's the extent of the offcuts so that's the only reason it's that size the outer ring i made a certain size because it's the size of a sheet um of this of the um polycarbonate i'm going to use but the uh this inner one was always going to be a custom bit of something anyway so might as well have just maximized the wood and that's the extent of the offcuts you know these little bits around here but that's it just rounding over these corners just to uh, tidy it up Okay. So a uh, volunteer that um, came and helped out here, Kieran, uh, kindly donated this gazebo I'm working under and on days like today 
it is perfect. So thank you, Kieran. It's getting some use, mate. Sorry if the table's wobbling, I can't do much about that. Got nothing else to put the camera on. Oh, rain. Well, we won't really see this corner. I'm gonna sand it and stuff anyway, but I'm just knocking the, the edges off really. But yeah, like I say, you won't really see this top. There we are, rounded over corners and just give it a quick uh, sanding. The wood is uh, still green, so um, you know, sanding's not that great, but we'll give it a clean up once it's all uh, dried out a little bit. But yeah, very pleased. I right, so uh, thought I'd just uh, process some materials. I found these pallets the other day. They've got this really nice, it's some kind of exotic hardwood, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm thinking that it is almost certainly going to be something fairly durable. Um, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to use this for the stripping on the outside. Uh, I wish I knew what it was, so I was sure, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine externally. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to process some materials on the table saw while, uh, while we see out this rainy day. I just can't believe they're making pallets out of this stuff, look at it. I'm sure that is like, that is mahogany or something, something like that, you know. That should not be going into pallets, but I mean it's good for me and everything. But, because you know, this is a lot of money's worth of wood here, but I don't want the rainforest getting cut down for, for pallets. I mean, if it's gonna, it was in a skip, so I mean, better I use it than it's in a skip, but I really don't want the rain. I don't know what this is. Couldn't tell you what that is. It's a lot lighter, um, uh, lighter in weight and lighter in colour. I'm hoping it's durable. I'm reckon it probably is. It, it is some sort of tropical hardwood for sure. Don't know what one though. But that that looks like rosewood or mahogany or something. Yeah, really strange. There we go, got the uh, centerpiece in, slightly above the other one to give it a very shallow slope. Now I can't decide whether I should uh, center that perfectly to the hole. At the moment it's centered to the frame and I think, I think that's probably best because then it'll look right from the top and everything. Uh, and the angles are all lined up, I use those bits of metal to keep my angles so I can transfer my angles and measure off the sides and, and it's all working out. I'll take you up there and, uh, and show you. So here we are up the top, try and get a full view of it, so as you can see it's uh, so we're going to have triangles of polycarbonate on this, bridging this gap, well triangles with a, with a flat top obviously to join into that, and then we're going to have uh, like the top of a glass round table on the middle piece with some brackets coming up the sides. So now I need to uh, start cutting some bits of wood to do all these uh, pieces, uh, all 12 of them. Okay, let's go cut some wood. So I haven't really got much wood here and not got a lot of money at the minute due to uh, spending it all on the hydro turbine. Um, so I'm gonna process these logs here and use them. Right, let's get to it.
So there we go, I got five out of that first uh, half. I've just put a little edge on them. They're sort of rough cut, I don't care about that. I sort of want them to look a bit odd and rough. That's the look. All right, there we go. There's my uh, 12 pieces cut. Uh, there's uh, four bits of pallet wood, hardwood pallet wood. And uh, the rest are from those calf legs. So yeah, we'll uh, start doing some joinery on them. Right then, it's the plan. Just uh, rough cutting these joints. Um, there's funny angles on them, if you know what I mean. Like, because uh, it's you know angled that way. We've got the two cuts, and they're all not exactly the same because obviously it's not perfectly circular and so on. So, don't want to spend ages getting all these perfect. So, uh, and I don't want these to not be resting on anything anyway. So I'm going to end up trimming out underneath these so all those any gaps are going to be hidden anyway by some like nice trim so so that these have got something to sit on Right, got you set up on the roof up here. Windy day, so apologies. Um, I got my uh, stripping, it's all pallet wood, all of this. All got for nothing, it's all that hardwood pallet wood. Um, so now we're gonna put these in between here. And so they sit up underneath these, covers any gaps or anything like that, strengthens it all up. And I'll just work my way around doing them. Don't know where, what I'm gonna, um, use just yet to do to cover all this over because um, well it's going to be polycarbonate of some kind but I just don't know exactly what just yet because uh, well I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to don't want to buy it essentially because it's expensive but we'll see find an old greenhouse or something in it. We just made these, uh, just these little strips of stainless steel, um, just out of some old scrap. Like I say, these, the only way that this roof window can support itself is by not being able to spread out these sides. If it could spread these sides, it would just fall straight through and uh, it's glued and screwed and everything uh, but I just want to put some extra support in there as well that isn't going to move so using these little strips of stainless around the edge where they'll be hidden and they'll be able to, they'll stop that um, corner from being able to be spread open there's like snow on the roof or something you know normal circumstance I don't think it would we just got like a quite a lot of snow it just saves me from worrying about it so I think it would probably be right about where it all just helps you don't have to worry about it
Right, there we are. So I'm going to take out this log and just have it coming in there because I still need it, but I don't need it going across there. That'll sort that circle out a little bit. There we go. That there is a week's work. Still need some trimming, trimming bits off and tidying bits and stuff like that. But yeah, that is a week's work right there. A lot of work, but it looks cool. Very happy with it. And it's very strong. Just working on these roof beams, just fiddling around with them, making them look right. Seeing what needs to sit where. Filling gaps and things. I think that's gonna slide into that next one quite well. I'll have to put a join on it. Let's take a bit more off of this. Slide that one in there, and then there's a slope, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. Had a bit of a tidy up in here yesterday, but more stuff's fallen down already. How cool is that shadow on the floor there? Anyway, let's have a look. See how this is looking. So that that one is a bit annoying. It intersects it, but I can't change that really. Oh, I suppose I could take it out, but it sort of is doing something. Hmm. Yeah, it's sort of supporting the roof window back there could have it not going over there don't know yeah i might think about that but the others look all right so we'll build around it with hazel and everything now that should be good so i'm doing a bit of bodgery here or what probably looks like a bit of bodgery from the top but it'll look fine from underneath um, it's just tapering this this you know slant so because I don't want that big drop off there so I'm just using these to slowly taper it it'll look fine from underneath like I say yeah just work my way around using what bits I got Yeah, so that's going to look fine. That'll look absolutely fine. Once that's hessian and everything, yeah, that'll be great. You never really get into this corner, but when you do, yeah, I need to fill it in a bit more, you know, in here, but yeah, that's going to be great. Then just getting these uh, bits of hazel filled in. So all these are really doing is just supporting the uh, hessian when that gets put on. Well, 
while this is all hair sealed and everything, it looked cool from underneath. <laughs> Hey everyone, so the uh, weather has been really quite appallingly bad. Um, I've been doing a bit of work with the tractor around here, getting ready to uh, start building the front porch. Been doing some bark stripping today. Uh, just getting stuff ready to start new jobs. Um, I would finish the window, but I don't have the materials to do that. Sort of trying to figure out where to source them. But it's very muddy, look at it. Oh, it's horrible. Looking forward to get some better weather again. But anyway, just thought I'd show you the um, window now it's all done. There we go. Give you a bit more brightness. Nice, right? So yeah, it's going to be the end of the video. Quite a long one. And so next video we're going to work on this beam. And maybe the front porch. We're putting in a secondary beam to take some of the load off those longer, longer sections. So yeah, that'll be in the next video. So... Hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.